so I'm going to take you through some menus of the product configuration menus of the product okay so for any bank when you take the ATM operations of any bank there are a set of vendors that the bank works with usually in many countries the first level management of the ATM network is done by the bank's own branch staff okay so uh, if we definitely want to banks definitely want to ensure that the FLM also happens on time and within the within the turnaround time expectation of the bank right so uh, that is one angle the other one is there are cash loading agencies cash replenishment agencies to whom the cash replenishment is outsourced to so uh, that is one set of vendors the other one is the network service providers uh, who give lease lines who give VSAT networks or even the dongle based uh, sim card based uh, connections right so that is one the other one is the actual OEM players I mean NCR, Debold, Wincor, Perto or the suppliers of the ATM right so they usually do the second level management of issues so uh, even they as part of the maintenance contract they have some obligations as to how fast or in what tat have they to resolve the incidents raised on them then there is the switch service provider the AFT switch um, who also plays a major role in the uptime of the ATM then there are UPS vendors and um, in some cases you know in little advanced economies there is MSPs managed service providers or independent ATM deployers who deploy ATMs on the behalf of the banks and provide it as a service so uh, there are various kinds of organizations at least seven different types of organizations which work towards the maintenance of uptime of the single ATM in the corner of the street so in Perfo you can list down or add the various types of organizations that are responsible responsible for ATM uptime and ATM network management in your bank so this is the list so once you create this master list of the various types of agencies for example here um, switch is select system is a switch vendor and let's say network you have Airtel as the network vendor if you have multiple ATM vendors you can add multiple ATM vendors into it and OEMs you could have NCR, Debold, GRG many suppliers of ATMs to your bank right you can add all of them and UPS vendors you can add the UPS vendors into the system so this is just saying that these are the various organizations which are servicing the bank so now once you define the vendor organizations then uh, in each vendor organization across the geography of the country of operation you can define the set of contact people in each organization for example in NCR there is a person called Aravind who is an engineer and his email ID is so and so his mobile number is so and so and uh, what is the notification preference of that personnel so it can be email notification it can be SMS notification or mobile app notification so perform mobile app can be given to the branch staff uh, the central office staff as well as the vendors to each of the vendors you can provide this mobile perform mobile application give them a username password and define the roles 
for each of them. So if you're going to provide a uh, perform mobile app to a uh, second level service maintenance agency, then they are going to see only the, the incidents or the tickets assigned to them, right? So they will not have any access to the sensitive journal records or the uptime if you're ATM network, all those details are unnecessary to them. So, so, so when they log in, they just get to see the incidents assigned to them and they can provide the updates which the branch people or the bank's uh, central office can look at and get to know what is happening at the ground level. Right? So, uh, but when the bank bank is giving access to this mobile app to its own employees in the branch or in the regional offices or in the central offices, the bank's people can have full access. You could define that bank people can look at electronic journals, incidents, tickets, dashboards. They can do operations on the ATM like rebooting, troubleshooting, uh, command executions and so many things. So it's all like privilege control. Okay, we just jumped into a different topic. Coming back, uh, here we are defining the people who are responsible in each organization across the geography of your ATM network. So once this set of people are defined, then uh, there is a region hierarchy that has to be defined. Region in the sense, how is your bank's uh, structure, organization structure? So there could be a central office, there could be zonal offices under the central office. Under the zonal office, you could have regional offices. Under the regional offices, you could have branch offices, right? So under each of these offices, there could be a bunch of ATMs which fall under that region. So this regional hierarchy of your ATM network can be configured. So once that hierarchy is configured, you can then go into the actual mapping of these vendors, regions, contacts, all these things will can be mapped to a particular ATM. We'll see that a little bit later. But before that, there is a ticket configuration okay so this ticket configuration defines the, the the various types of errors that an atm device could encounter there could be anti-skimming device errors the agents could get disconnected the atms could go offline out of service camera could get disconnected camera could have hardware problems like these there are in numerous uh, errors with respect to each device card reader has about 20 different errors cash dispenser has these kind of errors which are detected and reported and so there are about 15 different devices which with about 600 different types of errors altogether okay so now um, for each of these errors what you could do is um, assign these tickets to the FLM and SLM in charge organizations. So here you just have to say that this kind of error FLM agency is so and so. So in many places the FLM is usually done by the bank. So you could say bank is responsible for resolving uh, this type of error at a first level maintenance. Then uh, for the first level maintenance, what is the TAT? In what time frame this is expected to be looked into and closed? So you can define the uh, FLM TAT. Then comes if FLM is unable to resolve this and he finds that probably there is a hardware issue or that requires attention of the second level maintenance agency, then you could define here itself for each type of error, who is the SLM in charge, which organization is responsible for SLM. 
and for each SLM also you can define the TAT of that particular SLM agency okay so for each error type once it is defined this profile I mean the ticket prof the ticket config profile can be associated to each ATM each region so uh, for example if it is a metro metros ATMs ATM situated in metro areas where you require a better TAT because of the kind of population that lives the expectation of the people and the reachability of these ATMs well equipped uh, service network and all that you could have much stringent um, TAT for a metro or a city area while if it is far away places like rural areas then you could have a little bit higher uh, resolution time okay so you can define such different profiles ticket configuration profiles and associate it to each ATM okay this is a little complex to understand but I will summarize it so what you did you created you said uh, that these are the different types of vendors and in each vendor these are the people and to, uh, in, uh, with respect to each person you say what is their contacts email id phone number uh, mobile application logins all that is configured and then you say this is my regional hierarchy and uh, finally in the ticket configuration you define what is the FLM and F SLM TAT for each type of uh, errors errors or incidents you could say okay so once this whole thing is defined and this profile is associated to a particular ATM then any incident that happens on the ATM gets automatically assigned to a particular person in that particular area where that ATM is residing maybe uh, it is a rural area so in that rural area uh, for if it is an SLM ticket that is being raised then based on the type of type of incident it could get assigned to the right set of people working in that particular area so automatic assignment will happen and when you this assignment is one thing and then escalation is another config if that personnel is not able to resolve or uh, fails to resolve things within the TAT then immediately an escalation is sent right so that escalation is configured through the escalation matrix I will show you that see here uh, at a per ATM level there is for each vendor organization who is the assignee for each vendor organization and who is the escalation contacts everything is mapped at a per ATM level so automatic assignments will happen and automatic escalations will happen even to the second level also so that is how the whole uh, incident management is automated the whole process of incident management is completely automated in profo and as you can see in the incident dashboard you can see how many incidents are outstanding right now and out of which how many have become overdue and how many are in progress how many are on hold how many have been marked as part of waiting and how many are under approval all the status wise individual uh, ticket data can be obtained from the incident dashboards so as i said uh, the whole process of assignment 
notification escalation resolution everything is done is done through the perfo mobile app itself there is a web interface as well as a mobile app both work in the same way i mean it's the same interface that you see uh, on the on the browser as well as on the mobile app okay so people can use this mobile app i mean the branch people can use this mobile app sit at home and easily monitor what is happening on the set of atms that he or she is responsible for so they will clearly know what is the status of those 10 atms that he or she is responsible for and out of those 10 how many are in service how many are out of service and um, if it is out of service what is the reason is there a ticket raised and who that ticket is assigned to and are they are they in pro, in the process of resolving it everything is captured by the system okay so that's how this whole incident management process automation helps in reducing the turnaround time of resolution of uh, the incidents to closure okay